Toyota CEO, this new engine will destroy the entire EV industry. Hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine looking like the future of automotive technology. Toyota has been developing a new vehicle with a hydrogen combustion engine, taking a new direction using H2 aside from its Mirai which is powered by a fuel cell. The Japanese automaker is aiming to use H2 to its fullest and some suspect this could leave EVs behind. Can it happen? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to my channel Techbomix. In this video, we will talk about Toyota's new hydrogen-powered engine. Before going further into the details take a second to subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos related to tech. Toyota is developing a new branch in its varied carbon neutrality strategy with the hydrogen combustion engine. Although the carmaker started reducing the number of fossil fuel-powered vehicles it produced starting in 1997, when it unveiled the Prius, it hasn't completely shifted to all-electric vehicles. Furthermore, the BZ4X, the company's first entirely battery electric vehicle EV, sold just a small number of units by October 2022, and it doesn't plan to increase that car's manufacturing until 2025. The majority of those working in the auto sector are essentially silent, according to Akio Toyota, president of Toyota. That quiet majority is debating if having EVs as the only alternative is indeed acceptable. They are unable to speak aloud because they believe it to be the norm. We shouldn't restrict ourselves to one choice because the correct response is still ambiguous. According to JD Power, battery electrics have sold far more than H2 cars, although they still only account for a small portion of the overall new car market. Toyota has introduced the Corolla Cross H2 concept car with a hydrogen combustion engine. While the Mirai fuel cell electric vehicle has had limited adoption due to a variety of factors, Toyota's Corolla Cross H2 concept, a prototype for an H2 internal combustion engine ICE, creates a new market for these vehicles. The 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine used in the GR Yaris and GR Corolla served as the foundation for Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine. Of course, it has been modified to run on H2. A heavy-duty fuel tank was added as part of the modification process to hold the H2 under high pressure. The Mirai was used to steal that part. Other changes made to the design include stronger connecting rods, hardened valves and valve seats, and gas, not liquid, fuel injectors. The prototype, like the standard Corolla, seats five people plus their luggage. The Toyota hydrogen combustion engine is quick to refuel and uses fewer rare metals than other engines. The Toyota hydrogen combustion engine has a number of benefits, some of which are superior to those provided by EVs. Among them are the longer range and incredibly quick refueling times of this H2 ICE. In actuality, it takes just 90 seconds to refill a GR Yaris H2. In addition to these advantages for the driver, there are also advantages in terms of cost, material scarcity, and environmental friendliness because it doesn't require nearly as much of the rare metals, such as lithium or nickel, which are essential for the production of batteries. Although this car has a battery, it is much smaller than an EV. Currently, the Corolla Cross H2 concept car is being tested in actual conditions. Testing of the state of the winter roads is anticipated to start soon. The location of the tests will be in northern Japan. While fuel cell-powered hydrogen vehicles are already on the market and in development, hydrogen combustion engines will give automakers and consumers a new technology choice. To discover more about how a combustion engine operates, you can also read their engine handbook. Many experts think that this type of zero and reduced carbon emission vehicle could soon have its moment while EVs may soon reach their peak as electricity shortages worsen and green H2 prices continue to decline. One analyst estimates that just about 56,000 FSEVs have been sold globally to date, whereas 10.5 million BEVs and plug-in hybrid EVs were shipped globally in 2022. Some observers expected Toyota's new CEO Koji Sato, who assumed control of the company at the beginning of this month, to shift the company away from hydrogen cars and towards BVs. Sato has confirmed that Toyota will introduce 10 new EV models by 2026, as well as another 10 or so after that year. 
Although there is a growing consensus that BEVs will be the clear winner in terms of cost, infrastructure, and efficiency for passenger cars, Sato has also stated that Toyota will continue to support its hydrogen program. Although they remain firmly committed to Toyota's multi-pathway approach, company executives hinted in a presentation last week that the business may be subtly shifting its hydrogen future away from passenger vehicles and towards heavy-duty trucking. Hiroki Nakajima, Toyota's chief technology officer, said, for FSEVs, we will pursue mass production centered on commercial vehicles. One benefit of FSEVs is that their energy source, hydrogen, is lightweight. As a result, even when commuting over longer distances, the vehicle is lighter and takes up less space than an EV powered by batteries. Additionally, refueling is substantially faster. We will collaborate with company owners to promote FSEVs using these advantages, starting with commercial vehicles like medium and heavy-duty trucks. Additionally, we have started basic research on hydrogen engines for heavy-duty commercial vehicles last year," he added. With the BZ4X, Toyota recently demonstrated that it is prepared to compete in the battery electric mobility industry. But the Japanese behemoth also makes a significant wager on hydrogen. Now that we have a modified Toyota GR Yaris engine for endurance racing, it burns hydrogen instead of petrol. Oh, that's not a hydrogen fuel cell engine like the one in the Mirai, is it? That's intriguing in a sector that is continually promoting a future with solely EVs. A racer built on the Corolla Sport will be powered by the new 1.6-liter three-cylinder hydrogen combustion engine. Toyota will participate in the Super Taikyu Endurance Series, which will get underway in Japan on May 21, with the vehicle. Toyota claims the redesigned vehicle will be more responsive and rev faster since hydrogen fuel burns more quickly than petrol. Additionally, there are no CO2 emissions, which is great for the environment. The engine is not completely clean, however, as the greater flame temperature produces NOx as a byproduct. The overall environmental performance is still encouraging, though. Additionally, the sounds and vibrations produced by hydrogen engines do increase the enjoyment of driving. You must acknowledge the brand for that, don't you think? Toyota intends to eventually expand the engines used to road cars even though it is now only being used in endurance racing vehicles. This is part of the company's endeavor to develop its infrastructure for hydrogen. At present, the business manufactures the fuel at the Fukushima Hydrogen Energy Research Field in Naimi, Fukushima Prefecture, Japan. Additionally, the facility uses solar panel arrays to produce hydrogen, which is completely sustainable and renewable. Toyota is attempting to contribute to the understanding that the mobility society may be prosperous and sustainable at the same time by introducing hydrogen engines to the demanding environment of motorsports. It won't come as a surprise if Toyota does discover a way to control NOx emissions before they leave the exhaust system in the upcoming years. In fact, this could prevent future internal combustion engines from emitting any emissions. Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine can provide more power than equivalent-sized conventional petrol engines. The key to this is that more power can be generated from burning hydrogen fuel since it burns more efficiently than petrol. The hydrogen combustion engine is further enhanced in terms of power output by having a higher compression ratio than conventional petrol engines. Performance-wise, the possible extra power would have a number of benefits, it might result in quicker acceleration, faster top speeds, and better all-around competence on the highway or racetrack. However, the hydrogen combustion engine developed by Toyota has the exciting potential to produce more power, which would revolutionize performance. Historically, the high expense of hydrogen production has prevented the widespread use of hydrogen-powered cars. However, the price of manufacturing hydrogen has started to go down as technology has improved and become more widely recognized. This cost decrease is the result of a number of factors, including technological advancements in hydrogen production, economies of scale, and heightened rivalry within the hydrogen-producing industry. It is anticipated that the price of hydrogen-powered vehicles will fall as the cost of manufacturing hydrogen declines. This might lower the cost of hydrogen-powered vehicles for consumers. Hydrogen vehicles may someday be less expensive to produce and run than battery-powered electric vehicles, EVs, 
which need expensive batteries and charging infrastructure. This could cause a shift in the market in favor of this kind of powertrain, notably in markets where fuel is pricey or renewable resources are abundant. If you liked the video make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon.